It is, isn't it? Okay, can somebody share what they did for 14 plus 14 in their head? What did you do, Caleb? 1 plus 1 is 2. 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay. Uh, I like that. And then you put it together for an answer of what? Okay. Oh. Want to change it? Okay. How about, can I have somebody else share what they did? Yeah. Well, I did kind of the same, but I got the answers. Okay. Kyle, what about you? You what? Oh, he totaled it all together. Oh, nope. We have four separate ones. I want to tell you one. Yeah, you want to share with me? Okay, so kind of like what Caleb was saying, right? You just kind of were breaking it down. Kyle? Are we on the last one? Nope. I'm still just on this first one because what I'm trying to focus on, boys and girls. I, I, I took out the fours and I take 10, 20, and I add one fours and the other. I like it. That's kind of what I think a lot of you do in your head. When you guys were telling me 1 plus 1 is 2, is that really 2 or is it something else? What does that 2 represent? Do you know, Teresa? 2 what? What is this column? Do you know? 10s, right? So if I have two 10s, how much is that? Yeah. So this is actually kind of like doing 10 plus 10, isn't it? Because it's not really 1, it's a 10, so 10 plus 10 is 20. So I think a lot of you are thinking like, okay, 20. And then you said you take the four 1s and the four 1s and get 8, and then you add that together. And 20 plus 8 is something you can do in your head, right? And you get 28. Does that make sense? Nathan, that's what we did, isn't it? Are you with me? Okay. So, can you use that same strategy for the rest of those problems? Yes or no? Yes. I'm not seeing a lot of head movement. Yes, because if you look, we have 13 plus 13. They both have a 10 and a 10. 14 and 13, 10 and 10. 14 and 15, 10 and 10. So, every time, we're starting with 20, right? Because we have two 10s. So it's 20 plus something, 20 plus something, and 20 plus something. What am I adding this time? How many ones do I have? Teresa? Six. Because you did three plus three, right? Is that what you did? Okay. Plus six. What about this one? Kyle, what am I going to add for this one? 27. Yeah, because you added seven, right? Four plus three is seven. Okay, what about the last one, Asia? Nine. Nine. Four plus five is nine. So now, looking back at those, can you do those in your head? Yeah. And I know a lot of times we're used to doing it like this, lining it up, up and down, right? Really, that's kind of what you're doing in your head. You're saying, well, four plus four is eight, one plus one is two. But you can do that in your head, right? Even if you visualize it like that, that's okay, too. All right, that's all you had to do. So when we check your workbooks kind of throughout the um, block, we'll just make sure that you've at least showed some work, okay? Like even either written something down at the bottom or having something in that middle spot that kind of shows what you're thinking in your head, okay? All right. So now we will go ahead and turn to page 10 and 11 because I just want to make sure... We were thinking just Kyle and Nathan need to finish up this lesson. I want to make sure we don't have anybody else. Okay, so yeah. Do we want to start with those two, or do you want to start with the other? Those two? Yep. Oh, I guess I can leave this on. Yeah, would you come over there with me? And then, um, 
Let's see. We'll have you two go on the computers first today. Okay? Yep. Not until 1025. Just for a little bit. Okay? I'll let you know. So go ahead and log on to the Math 180 site, okay? Today, what we are going to be learning, girls, over here, is we're going to be able to interpret products, we're going to know how to find a product, and we're going to be able to multiply factors. Do you know what those two words mean, product and factors? Anybody know what either one of those mean? Any ideas? Take a guess. Okay, if we don't know yet, maybe we'll know by the end of the end of the lesson, okay? So go ahead and turn to page um, 12 and 13. Because today we're going to focus on this page, okay? So it's kind of like yesterday's lesson where we used equal groups to figure out the multiplication problem. So um, this one is using those circles that we had used the other day when we put into equal groups and circles. The only difference that of this and what we're going to do today is that it's rectangles and we call it an array. So this is more like what you were seeing on the computer. Does that look familiar? The worked example, does that look familiar to what you saw on the computer? Don't know? Don't remember? Oh, well we're going to look at it. All right, so this is what it looks like, okay? So our worked example says four equal groups of six. What do we know how we could also say four equal groups of six? How else could we also say that? What is that really telling us? Four equal groups of five. Four? Four times six. So you already know your last step, right? What's the last step? Yeah. Just multiply four times six. We don't know our answer quite yet, but we can at least put down here four times six equals, right? Oh, sorry. That was, I'm sorry, you guys. That's not the same problem. Right here is the one we were doing, right? So we could do four times six there. I'm sorry. All right. And then they did four equal groups of six. They have, how many rows do they have? Four. Oh, Asia? Four. Teresa, how many little squares are in each row? Six. So we have an array. That's what this is called. It's called an array. And it has four rows with six tiles in it. Okay? Because it's four equal groups of six. So the next step was to count by sixes. Because we have six in each row. So if we count by sixes, we have six, what's next, 12, 6, 12, 18, 24. So we write that on the board. Asia. So we get 12 on this one, 12 on this one, and that goes along with our warm-up, right, because we can do 12 plus 12, we just know 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 2 plus 2 is 4, so we get 24. So then we know 4 times 6 equals 24. All right, let's try this one here. All right, for the try it. We have six equal groups of five, so how many rows do we have? Six. And how many tiles are going to go in each row, Teresa? Five. Five. So go ahead and draw your five tiles in each row.
What's our next step? Teresa, do you know? Um, count, to find the table. count by fives, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to count by fives six times. So everybody together. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. That's six times, right? Okay. Now we're going to add. What are we going to add together? Six plus six. Are we going to add six plus six? No. We're going to put um, five plus five. So, okay, we have five plus five. That's one group. Two rows, right? So we got this row done and this row done. So we have to add more to it. What are we going to add again to it? Two more fives? Okay. Okay, we still have more rows, though. So we have to add two more fives, right? All right. What do we know five plus five is? Ten. Ten. So we know all of these are going to be ten plus ten plus ten. And what's ten plus ten plus ten? Thirty. Thirty. What's our multiplication sentence for this one? Six, Do you know? <laughs> Six times five equals thirty. Do you guys think you can try the next one on your own? Mm -hmm. All right.